the sun ain't gonna shine anymore. The sun is shining! Look at it! And it's beautiful! Hello, my lovelies! You know what this means. I'm cleaning up in the garden. It's a windy day today, so I'm all rugged up. <laughs> Anywho, I am looking for something to clean up. But first, The important things in life is free. It's not. This cost me money. This is second cup of coffee for the morning. Ah, it's a good day to be alive. As I open my curtain on the other side here this morning, I saw some plants that are in need of watering. That one at the back there. I'm sick of waiting for the frost to go away, so... Today I am going to water, water, water. Hang on, just a little bit, some plants, because this is no good. Hang on, you stay there. Stay, stay. That's what I use, uh, well, that's what Pedro used to say. And Oli, my husband, is the one who taught him that. Stay, okay, now, this one now, I don't know. Oh, it's high, okay, never mind. We are watering. I'm drowning them, drowning, drowning, and then going back again, drowning again, drowning. <laughs> okay, for those of you who is watching this video for the first time, I am not some crazy lady who's carrying on and laughing and whatever. I'm just a happy soul. Well, despite the fact that two and a half months ago, my husband passed away, after a 15 year battle of, well, with cancer. It is a battle, isn't it? He was given three years to live and he surpassed 15 years. A week ago, my poor little baby bird, Baji Pedro, who is also a YouTube star, <laughs> passed away. He's actually three months short of 11 years old. And I was looking forward to celebrating his uh, birthday. Well, first Pedro on October 13 and my husband's birthday uh, is in November. So I thought I'm gonna have a big party because while my husband was alive, we stop celebrating birthdays because he always says <laughs> every day is birthday, <laughs> but he's just, <laughs> I call him a tight ass. That means he's really uh, frugal. He doesn't really want to spend money. He said, why do I have to feed all these people? <laughs> anyway, we stopped having parties. Well, I basically stopped having parties when I met my husband. And also every weekend we're away either fishing or fossicking. I am getting carried away <laughs> with my watering because I'm not supposed to water this area. But anyway, because I think we're going to have frost tonight. So every weekend we're away. So we have an excuse not to attend even, uh, <laughs> what do you call this? Parties on the weekend because most parties are on the weekend. The only parties that <laughs> we attended are basically the kids and also if it's during the week he's fine we'll go to parties but if it's on the weekend unless it's a special occasion like say mom and dad's 60th wedding anniversary something like that something uh, monumental uh, then we are going to stay in town but otherwise most of the time, I'm just talking here guys, but I'm looking, but most of the time we're always away. So that's how we lived our lives for the past oh, almost 30 years. What is it now? July, <laughs> August, September. Oh, in a couple of months. Oh my goodness. It's football grand finals or uh, rugby league here in Australia. The football finals is actually when we got married. I'm telling you my stories now. We weren't supposed to get married. 
because before we got married basically i was excited i was the sort of a blushing bride or whatever <laughs> oh hang on this one i need to take you out i need to clean you up hang on you are i know you but something setosa uh special hybrid of setos it is setosa variety ciliata okay oh look 35 dollars so this one i need to clean this up so this is not a quick cleanup i have to concentrate i can't even see yes i have to concentrate when i do this hang on Kenya. you come with me i'm gonna continue with my story by the way and also i'm gonna have a sip of my coffee sip of my coffee oh tears in my eyes no more so anyway when we got married or about to get married when he said uh we'll get married nobody proposed as well i did not propose he did not propose we just decided that when we got together if we're still together after two years we'll get married so almost two years on the dot that we met we got married but in one condition i am not to wear white that's my husband's condition and no big dramas the kids were going to be the flower girls and my son will be the <laughs> not the pole bearer ring bearer <laughs> anyway some people will say for someone whose husband and bird just died i'm a little bit too happy I am not happy. I just hide my sorrows really well. I, I'm just, a, what do you call this? I'm an expert in uh, covering up my feelings. But if you see my face on <laughs> camera, you can tell that's why I hardly show my face because I could not hide anything. I have such an expressive face that I couldn't even lie because if I do lie, <laughs> people will know. Are you a good liar? Let me know in the comment section. Like, how do you lie? Like, I can't lie. Hang on. I can lie down, but... <laughs> well, I do tell a lie, of course. We all do. But people can tell straight away that she's lying. And then, of course, right there and then, I have to correct myself. I'll say, look, you know, make excuses or something like that. It's very hard. Or I'll just say, if I haven't got anything good to say, I'll just shut up. Because if someone says, does that look good? And I say, oh, <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> and then they know straight away, it's like, oh, it's not good. It's bad, isn't it? No, it's not bad. It's a bit like the wife asking the husband, uh, asking him if, is my butt too big in these pants? And then the husband would <laughs> say, no, dear. Those pants are just too big for your sexy ass. <laughs> oh, thank you, my dear. Then I can't do that. If I'm the husband, I would normally... <laughs> this is how I react. Hang on. I'm just having coffee again. I'm just focusing on this orthonic pants because this is my favorite succulent. Okay, guys, this is my absolute favorite because look at those colors. And this one is in the shade. Anyway, and then the other one. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm still thinking about the wife and the husband conversation. Look at this other one out in the sun. Oh my goodness. That is absolutely divine. And to think this is actually propagation already. And the other one before, that was the mummy. Oh, my original plant. And this one, oh my goodness. I can't wait to harvest it again. This is only a couple of months that I planted this or propagated. I harvested it from the other one. So this is at the end of autumn. So I did a video actually of this one, like propagating it. But look how beautiful that plant is. How beautiful, beautiful. Anyway, I'm going to continue to the husband and wife uh, interaction. So if I were the husband and my wife asked me, does my butt look too big in these pants? I would just say, change it, get a better pants. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I lie which is indirectly it's still a nice way of putting it that there's nothing wrong with her but it was the <laughs> the pants that was the problem isn't it so that's how it is <laughs> my husband's favorite color by the way is black every time I'm wearing a different color he would think about uh, the dress or whatever I'm wearing but if it's black automatically oh you look good sweetheart you look beautiful so I only get compliments from him when I'm wearing black <laughs> basically if I'm wearing any other color forget it and, oh look at that so that one's been eaten by mealybug look at that so anyway 
so i really have to go get underneath here so anyway well it took me a long time to wear black because in my culture black is associated with a mourning and so you wear black when someone pass away i attended a funeral once of a little girl about four years old that passed away many many years ago the uncle wore this floral red and white shirt and everyone just sneered at him and looked at him and he was really defiant and thinking that she's four years old so it should be a happy occasion she he was sad that she passed but she's already with the lord so it is really a matter of perspective different people have different belief system so some says uh you should be in mourning and that you should wail not even get out of the house and just cry and cry until you uh, die of crying basically that's to show your grief that you love that person to me that's hogwash in the sense that i cry i give myself certain amount to cry and then the bill starts piling up the mortgage has to be paid my belly has to be filled it's not like I'm just going to stop eating. And the succulents need cleaning. Pedro, at the time when my husband passed, still needs looking after. Every time I feel like crying, I focus on something else. Like I went, whew, <laughs> and then <laughs> have a sip of my coffee again and look at this beautiful uh, succulents in here. They're all different colors, but the one in the center is girlfriend. That's a girlfriend instead of girlfriend. It's Gorefriend. I wonder what, what, is it Gorefriend? Yes, it is. Gorefriend. Gorefriend. What does Gorefriend mean? I don't know. So, oh, gorgeous, isn't it? This one here, this is, ah, oh, Mont Blanc. Well, it is still white, isn't it? But, oh, the jelly jam. Hello. Hello, jelly jam. I have killed so many jelly jams, and these are the only jelly jams that are alive. Oh, yes, I have to check on the ones behind me. But before I do that, I'll just admire this one. Oh, beautiful, beautiful pot. Because <laughs> I don't know the names, especially with my sunglasses right now. I can't see them. Yes. Yes, they're alive. My baby jelly jam. Look, I got one, a two, a three. Yes. Is there more? No more. So I've got three propagated jelly jams. I think I had some that died earlier as well, but I already taken the pot away. And oh, so this one's also dead. I thought it's just beautiful black <laughs> something dark night. <laughs> this dark night has gone to the dark side dark night you have to go here and this one why did i get you oh yes there's a little bit of cleaning to do with this beautiful one okay i'll put you here for now because i don't like leaving empty spots i actually took my variegated vera and brought it inside so where was i yes grief in dealing with grief i want to go up behind me and check the plants that i have up the top there because those ones there I haven't checked in the last three years the pots that are sort of outside you can see them there I can easily access it because it's from the outside but the ones in the terracotta pot up the top there I don't know what's going on in there I can see a couple of plants from down here that some are still alive but I bet you a bottom dollar there's a lot of dead ones now we get up up on the roof this whole world keeps getting me down but i won't let it get me down because oh they're all dead <laughs> one two three almost dead four oh look a dead that one's almost dead dead oh that one can still be saved but i'm gonna take this out i don't know what you are Echeveria pink edge you are on the edge of glory okay so i need to put you somewhere you can go here where i can see you then i have to get up there again and see what else i can find oh, oh, oh. hang on come here come i was editing a video of crystals that we dug a few years ago i just uploaded it on my other channel and someone said when i first went oh 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 I sounded like Count Dracula. Good evening, ladies 
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going Vincent Price now. Hang on, I watch a lot of movies. I don't know. I love stories. I just love stories. Anyway, this one is LOL. La 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 la. LOL, like me. It's still good that even though it's distinct, still good to have labels because you will forget. You will go see Noel. And one day, you won't even know your name. What's my name? I would ask my husband every now and then uh, when he was in the hospital when he's talking nonsense when he would tell me to do things like oh you should sell the car or you should marry such and such <laughs> and then I would say ask him what's my name and he would say hello a joke between the two of us that he calls me that and I don't take offense to that and I call him other name hello <laughs> which he hates the ones I call him is even worse so but anyway so he never gets upset with me unless <laughs> I use that name to call him when I'm upset and when I'm upset he gets more upset that <laughs> I get upset I would apologize because <laughs> I was upset that I upset him by me being upset. Did you get Aww, it? <laughs> how sweet. So whatever it is that we're arguing with, I always give in. I just let him win anyway, because there's no point arguing. And then my daughter asked me the other day, she distinctly remembers one time we're having dinner and my son going through something at the time. He wasn't very nice to his mom <laughs> because he wants something and he can't get it. So anyway, they always go to my husband to get what they want anyway. And he always says, yes, it's more diplomatic, he says. I said, no, it's not diplomatic. You're a doormat. You're giving in to the kids, even though you're not supposed to. But anyway, uh, so she asked me why did... I give in at that time to dad. I didn't say anything because I said we're having dinner and I was really enjoying my dinner and I don't want to ruin my appetite or oh, this one needs to be cleaned up. So instead of answering back to dad in front of the kids, which my husband does, by the way, it's not that um, he's, uh, what do you call this? It's a bad trait or anything like that, but it's just the way he is. You can't really um, make him submit to you. Anyway, so, and I guess that's what I like about him. Because I don't like a doormat man. I want a man who will stand up to me. And some might say that uh, he stood up too much for me. Or never gave in to me. But that's what I like. That's what I lo uh, like. I like a man to have his own perspective and things. Because most of the time, I'm right. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I need someone to point out my wounds. And if you're always right and the other person will sort of agree with me as well, then I can never ever really truly tell. Hang on, did I put you up there? If I'm right or I'm wrong, I'm putting this one here, back here. So anyway, that's why my husband and I were perfect for each other. So I said to my daughter sometimes in a relationship, one has to give in or else. I said in my younger days, there won't be any argument, no conversations even, because I would just walk out the door like my past relationships. No questions asked. I just say, Arrivederci. Anyway, my lovelies, I have to say goodbye to you. I ha I'm not walking out. I'm just taking a pause. <laughs> Let's just have a break so that I can edit this video. And also, hang on. Ah, oh, that poor thing. Look, uh, look for or find more plants to clean up. Anyway, I'm going to take this one inside as well because I really, really like this plant here. I forgot the name. And I'm wearing sunglasses, as I mentioned earlier, so I can't see what this is. Plus, this uh, dark side now has <laughs> gone to the dark side. I have to clean that up because I can reuse the pot. And this one is a oh, heart's choice. Okay, the heart's choice. I have to look after my heart because if I don't, there won't be anyone annoying you with my videos. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And to my heart's choice, I'm going to bring you inside. And hopefully, I'm able to delight your hearts with this little video of mine and hope I'll see you in the next video. I'll finish my cup and now. Oh my goodness, you poor plants. A one, two, three, four, five. I need to attend to this and all these empty pots here. Look, oh my goodness. Oh, my heart breaks. I'm sorry, my babies. <laughs>
I'm sorry. Also, the next clip I'm going to be showing is on Pedro enjoying his uh, sticky rice cake and mango. He doesn't really like the mango, but he likes rice. So sometimes I think this bird is a reincarnation of my mom because of the way his uh, attitude towards everything and also loves sticky rice. Anyway, guys, bye-bye. I'll see you next time. So after eating his sticky rice and mango, <laughs> now I'm gonna sit on mommy's shoes, aren't you, hey? Okay, under the table. There you go. So look at sticky rice, here, Pedro. Okay, you're gonna sleep there now? Bye-bye. Kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss.